Good Monday to you on this day number four of the JCK Show. If you have not made your reservation for the Rappaport Breakfast Open, seating is available on a first-come, first-served basis beginning at 8.10 a.m. in the Delfino Ballroom. The Rappaport Bankers Conference follows, and then the Rappaport Fair Trade Conference is in the afternoon. This evening, head over to Tao Asian Bistro at the Venetian for the Women's Jewelers Association Diva Awards at 6 p.m. At this point, it's safe to make some activity calls for JCK Vegas 2008. I think expectations were somewhat diminished coming into the show. However, exhibitors kept a positive attitude and made the best of the challenging trading environment in the United States. Sunday will come down as the show's busiest day observed by foot traffic. The Israeli pavilion did a bang-up job and traders were writing orders as fast as their pens would allow. Way to go, Israel. Other comments I have, commercial goods are very weak. Larger stones, especially from brands, have been selling, but at a slower pace than last year. Gold jewelry seems to be in good demand and very inexpensive jewelry. Let's say items under $100 have been selling very well. High-end watches are doing better than last year, which was surprising to some of those selling timepieces. Now, our friends in India know all too well how the rupee and the dollar relationship plays out to our trade. Anrag Dut of GJ EPC explains what may be in store for the rupee next. It's happened almost backwards. The people were expecting the dollar to depreciate more and the rupee to appreciate, but in suddenly last 45 days or so, the, it's gained, the dollar has gained about 10%. The rupee is hovering around 40, 42. So, so the problem is the high gold prices, which is going on for probably last two months. The problems are uh, the high oil prices. It's hovering around 135 to 38 per barrel dollars per barrel. So, the platinum prices are an all-time high. So, the, these are various reasons, you know, you know, for which the rupee has been depreciating, you know, in the last 45 yeah, days. Zero. Well, uh, I think the inflation is right now hovering around 8.1 in India, which the government is trying to control, and probably it might, it might take about four to eight weeks to control that, and then we feel that about 5% to 10%, again, things would start to come to normal if we have a good monsoon starting from June. So uh, we, we, are, we are quite optimistic that we, we, the government will be able to control the inflation, and the oil prices will slightly cool down which will help the whole industry once again listen up rough importers and exporters here in the united states the following standards now affect you we're asking uh, rough diamond importers and exporters to file an annual report with the state department that will explain uh, the volumes of rough diamonds they've imported and exported during the year and their stockpile of rough diamonds at, at the end of the year this will be an annual report in the future it'll be due every every april but this year we're asking for the 2007 report to be due in September. Well, if they have stockpiles of rough diamonds, we'd like them to report it to us. This is an attempt by the U.S. government to get a, a better idea of what kind of uh, volume of rough diamonds are uh, in the United States and what will be going in and what will be going out. Um, in uh, Brussels in uh, November of 2007, the Kimberley process asked uh, diamond trading centers to pay more attention to uh, what happens in those centers. We've spent a lot of time focusing our attention on the Kimberley process on the African producing nations. And we think it's only fair that also the, the trading centers of the world would also provide more monitoring of the diamonds that go in and out of their countries. So this is our attempt from the U.S. government to, without being too in, intrusive on uh, the industry, to get a better handle on the volumes of rough diamonds in our country. For more information, be sure to visit state.gov and then click the Conflict Diamond page. Be sure to check back tomorrow morning for our final broadcast from JCK Vegas 2008.